instant face realignment, right? Okay, not a great idea. I see a lot of people starting their chainsaws like this. Okay, throwing it down under the ground. Some chainsaws, fair few these days, have a quick start. So when you get, or an easy start, so when you're gonna ruin that. The other thing is, one day you, you're gonna you're gonna lose it and it's gonna come up here and get you instant face realignment, right? Okay, not a great idea. So here's the tip on starting the saw. The best way to start a cold saw is to be in complete control of it. And that's like this. We're gonna put it on the ground, have an overhand grip, our thumb underneath, a good good old solid grip on the saw, and our foot just in that part of the handle. That's why that part of the handle exists. Okay, that's why it's so wide. That's for your foot, okay? Now, I'm left-handed, so I do it like this. If you're right-handed, you do it like this, a cross face, right? That's the best way to pull it. What we're gonna do for this saw, this is an MS311 Farm Boss. That's a pretty decent saw. So, first thing, cold start. It's got some compression, this thing, so we're gonna put the compression lever in. Okay, decompression lever, sorry. We're gonna put the decompression lever in. All right, then we're gonna put in our anti-trigger. We're gonna put that on, pull the trigger in all the way, and set our choke all the way down to the last setting, full choke. Okay, then we're gonna go back and put it on the ground. Again, overhand grip. One thing to make sure of, make sure your chain brake is on, okay? So that's gonna, prevents anything going wrong with the saw, okay? It's okay to start it for a little while with the chain brake on. Here we are. So, decompression lever in, full choke, couple of sharp pulls. Oh, one pull, okay? Got this chainsaw maintained up pretty good. All right, but you would probably get two pulls out of that and you hear it kick. When you've heard it kick, don't do anything else, but move that choke to the second position there. Second, second, second position choke, okay? Now, we're gonna rip the chainsaw, we're gonna give it another good pull. As Soon as we hear it start, we're gonna, we're gonna pull that trigger quickly, give it a blap, and it's gonna come from the choke, it's gonna put the choke from the second position to on, okay? Overhand grip, thumb underneath, foot on here, okay? Second position, go. Foot on here, okay? Second position, go. There we go. Now we can pull the brake off, okay? So there you go, that's the best way. Now, let me show you how to start a warm saw. And people, people tell me I'm crazy for this, but this is in the manual. Go and read your manual. This is the best way. Don't be throwing your saw around. It's, you're gonna lose it, it's gonna end up in your foot, the chain's gonna run on. Even if you just get nicked by one of these teeth, if your chain's sharp enough, that'll ruin your day, okay? So, we're gonna put our saw to the back, to that on position, okay? So it should be warm now. We're gonna put the saw between our knees and give it one good old sharp pull. Now, you can make sure your chain breaks on, okay? That's a good idea, but if you're going all day now, you should be right with this, but we'll put it on just for this sake, ready? Okay, and if you're a right-hander, you're like this. On position, between the knees, good overhand grip, and pull. Okay, then off you go. That's the way you need to be doing it, in my opinion. Happy chopping.